Hits 96, Chattanooga's number one hit music station. Gino D here with you and connecting via Zoom. We are with the one and only David. David, how are we doing today? How are we doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. I know that you're on tour right now. Where are you uh, broadcasting from? Where are we connecting from? Right now, I'm in the heart of New York City. I'm in Brooklyn right now. Wow, heart of New York City. I know you performed just last night. How was the show? It was amazing. Amazing. Three shows yeah. in New York. Always amazing. Yes, shows in New York. It can only. The Big Apple, as they say. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations on all the success you've been having. We love your song, Here With Me. That's the one that we're currently playing here on Hits 96. Thank I you. wanted to congratulate you on the release of your EP a couple months ago, Pedals to Thorns. And I kind of want you to talk about where that project came from and how it represents your growth. Because you kind of started way back when you were even younger uh, kind of making songs and raps and poems and stuff in your sister's closet, right? Let's talk about the beginning of music and where you are now uh, and how it all started. Yeah, so it was a pretty in interesting, like, an unorthodox uh, journey that I had. I wanted to become, like, a professional uh, video game player back in the day when Fortnite came out in 2017. I was hooked mm -hmm. on the game. I was so addicted to it. And I saw, like, Ninja and these these famous teams, like, get millions of dollars to play the game. And uh, I wanted to do that myself. But I post my content on YouTube and get copyright strikes for the music that I was using. So I was like, okay, I'm losing money. What do I do? So I asked my mom about it, and she was like, make your own music. So the next day, I searched up how to make music on iPhone. This app called BandLab came up. It was super easy to use at first. I, I didn't even need to watch a YouTube tutorial, nothing like that. It was so <laughs> easy to use. And I had to find a studio at that point, right? And I don't have the money to like rent out a booth or a space. I got no professional mic, nothing like that. So I used my sister's closet because she's the only one in the house that has a walk-in closet. Okay. Um, I made my first song called Runaway, which is still up in December 2021. And then my second song was You and I, which is the one that took off on like the Fortnite, uh, Twitter, YouTube, all of that. Moved on to TikTok, it became a meme account to try to build a little fan base on there. And then once I accumulated like 500,000 subscribers or followers, I should say, sure. um, that's when I started promoting my own music. And then overnight, the snippet of romantic comments, I just like took off. Wow. Yeah. No, it's incredible. And it is. You're right. It's an unorthodox story. Not many start in the in the video game world, if you will. So where was your inspiration behind that? Like, are you inspired by the games or was you just like, I just want to be able to groove to something as I'm playing? That's exactly what it was. I was literally inspired by the games. I, I looked at it more as I was scoring the gameplay more than actually, you know, just trying to find something to vibe to. So I would make a video and then make a song to that video. I want to make the song first and try to figure out what video fit there. It's like I was like Hans Zimmer scoring a movie almost okay. that makes sense yeah 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 i get that for sure and now your music has kind of spanned across all genres it's a little bit of indie get some pop music mixed in there definitely r&b vibe how do you approach blending the different styles and is there a style that you haven't worked with yet but you want to i really want to work with country to be honest i haven't explored that yet because i know all it's right. a very 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 sacred genre to a lot of people <laughs> and i don't want to mess it up when i do it so it's like yeah, I like blending a lot of different things because I like staying outside the box and I want to be boxing and be like, oh, he's that indie guy or he's that rap guy. But mm -hmm. I can do it all. So it's like, I try well, to I know he, to as many Yeah, as no, can. absolutely. Absolutely. Because I know here in Chattanooga, they would appreciate that because we have a big country fan base uh, in addition to pop music and everything else that we play. But we have a lot of country artists that have crossed over. So that would be an interesting uh, collaboration maybe in the future uh, to, to hear from you. That'd be very cool. As yeah. I mentioned, as I mentioned, we're playing your song here with me. It's been a very successful track for you, reaching the Billboard Hot 100. Uh, can you share the inspiration behind that song and what that means to you personally? Yeah, personally, it's, it means a lot to me. It's like watching your parents grow old. I feel like it's a, it's a very family-oriented song for me. Um, but the inspiration from it came from the Disney movie Up. It was like I was watching that oh. movie and watching Carl and Ellie. And then when Ellie dies, I was like, man, the story feels un, um, incomplete. So I tried to finish it without the visuals, but with my words, if that makes sense. So you would visualize the entire events that were happening in the song and then put that together yourself. And it was just a beautiful scene, yeah. That's very cool. I actually didn't know that it was uh, inspired by Up, which is yeah. a super uh, popular film. So now I'm going to have to listen to it again and, and look at it yeah. a different way. I think that's Watch awesome. the movie while you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch yeah, the movie, yeah. Watch, watch the movie while we're, uh, while we're listening, for sure. Um, when it comes to your songwriting and your lyrics, uh, as you mentioned, you were inspired by video games, obviously movies. Uh, where do you find that inspiration when it's not maybe something that's that's so forward like that? Do you get inspiration of just everyday life, too? Yeah, everyday life, of course. Everything is inspiration. I mean, like things that I've experienced, things that other people have experienced. I remember the songs I made in 2022 where I created a character for every song and gave them a different background, a different story, a different worldview, and tried to craft a different life for every single song so they feel very different, but the same, if that makes sense, in the same sure. world. Yeah. 
And your lyrics are very introspective too. You can definitely get, there's a vibe there. It makes you reflect a lot. And I can only assume that's what you're shooting for. Of course, of course. I feel like the best thing you can do in music is have your music be interpreted by a different person in a different way every time somebody hears it. So. Yeah. Have you ever had a fan or somebody reach out to you and talk to you like this song meant this to me? And then you're kind of like, wow, I didn't think of it that way. Has there been a different interpretation that's kind of set you back a little bit? Yeah, our romantic homicide is like a bunch of people not viewing it as a relationship thing, but it's like they're themselves. Yeah. It's like destroying the past selves and um becoming better people, looking at their addictions and you know, in the back of my mind, that thing died or that bad habit died and stuff like that. So yeah. As an artist, what does that mean to you? That must be very cool, kind of almost surreal. Bro, it means the world that people are able to take that and, and use it as a positive light. And cause I know my mom hated that song because it was too violent. Um <laughs> But it's so it's such a blessing to have people react to it in such a positive way. So, very cool, very cool. Like, like I said, the EP "Petals to Thorns." Make sure everybody goes and pick it up. We are also, um, of course, playing here with me, which is, uh, like I said, a successful track for you. You've been recognized as one of Billboard's 21 Under 21 Artists, which is a remarkable achievement. So, congrats on that. How does that feel when it comes to the recognition scale? It's kind of a cool thing to be recognized for doing so much at such a young age. Yeah, it's very inspiring to me. I mean, as a creative as well, it's like people don't, it's not um, restricted by by what you can do when, how, with how, no, 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 what I want to say is you're not restricted to accomplishments based on your age. There we go. Yeah, it's like you can do whatever you want, um, yeah. whether it be 50 years old, 14 years old. I remember this are some artists, friends I had um, in the Fortnite scene that were inspired by me that are like 13 started making music on their phone as well. And it's very good. So like, it doesn't sure. matter how old you are too, you can accomplish greatness at any age, yeah. Absolutely, and I think that's a great message too. And people should know that when they're listening to your stuff, you really are proving that you, you can do it. If you want it, you can get it. And uh, that proves too in your, in your tour. I got one final question for you here when it comes to the Root of It All tour that you're on now, we mentioned it earlier, sold out within minutes. How does it feel to have such a dedicated and supportive fan base? And what message are you hoping people take away from your music at the end of the day? I mean, it feels amazing just to see the people that are listening to my music, you know, by themselves and have them be in the shows. And then it's like a, a, a almost like a collaboration. I'm an audience member as much as they are. And I'm listening yeah. to them as they're listening to me. So it's kind of like they're performing to me at the same time. And uh, yeah, it's just amazing. I feel like people should take away whatever they need from it. I don't want to push up a specific message with the music. It's like I'm saying these words and whatever you interpret it as they've already been doing. It's like take whatever you need from it and let the music speak to you in whatever way that you feel necessary. So very cool. David, thank you so much for the time. We'll continue to play your music here on Hits 96. You have a very zen vibe about you. I could talk thank to you, you for so hours because it's just very chill. And uh, we appreciate that so much. And uh, we, we wish you best of luck in the future. And remember to keep uh, Hits 96 in the back of your mind if you're ever coming through. Of course, I'll be there. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. You have a good day. Thanks so much. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.